Hi there, and welcome to Q&A Wednesday where I get to answer your questions. Today, we're gonna to cover questions related to kidney health. So our first question is, Doc, so what do the kidneys do anyways? Well, first off, kidneys are like powerful filtration centers and chemical factories for our, our entire body, all right? First off, they, they filter out waste that's produced in the body and it gets into the body. Uh, they remove drugs from the, from the body. Uh, they balance the water in the body and also the electrolytes. They eliminate heavy metals and they regulate our, our mineral content in our body. They release hormones that regulate blood pressure. They also release hormones that tell our bone marrow to produce red and white blood cells. Uh, they also produce a form of vitamin D that promotes strong, healthy bones. Did you know that there are more kidney transplants in the United States than all other types of transplants combined? The last I looked, it was three times as many kidney transplants in our country than there are all other forms of transplants combined. Meaning the state of kidneys in the United States is really bad, all right? Uh, another observation that I have had is that I've never seen bone cancer without kidney dysfunction. I've always seen them together. Um, our next question, let's go on to our next question. Our next question is, what other organs are affected by the kidneys? Well, it's not only what, are, what organs are affected by the kidneys, is what organs affect the kidneys as well, right? So um, our digestive tract affects the kidneys, our liver affects the kidneys, our thyroid affects the kidneys, all right? Um, the kidneys in turn affect our blood levels, okay? Remember, they produce the hormones that tell our bone marrow to produce blood cells, both white and red blood cells, okay? So they control our blood volume. Also, they control our water volume, okay? So they're very, very important in, in a lot of the things they do. If the liver is overtaxed and fatty and isn't filtering very well, everything it's missing, the kidneys have to deal with. So liver health is extremely important for uh, kidney health. Because if the liver ain't healthy, the kidneys aren't going to be healthy. All right, so our next question is, how do you form kidney stones? Okay, how do the kidney stones form? Well, first off, um, let me tell you what precipitates that, okay? So things like heavy metal poisoning, okay? Heavy metals will deposit in the kidneys, making things, um, making things more prone to, uh, to develop stones and crystals and those types of things. Um, vitamin D3 deficiency, okay? That causes calcium to start leaving our bones readily, okay? And more calcium in the bloodstream means more calcium ends up in the kidneys. Um, another thing is uh, soda, okay? Drinking lots of soda, all right? That will start to raise your uric acid levels. You raise your uric acid levels and that, again, that will promote kidney stones. Um, the, the two biggest factors, in my opinion, are vitamin D3 deficiencies and dehydration. Those are two things that will, sh sure enough, they will lead you right down the path of developing kidney stones. Our next question is, how can I prevent kidney stones? Well, stay hydrated, limit your soda intake, get your vitamin D3, um, and keep your liver healthy. And as well, here's another thing, the liver health, the liver gets plugged up the worse your digestion is. Okay, so the more problems you have in your digestive tract, the more toxic your liver becomes, the more your liver has to deal with. And if the liver gets all plugged up, it doesn't filter as well. Whatever it misses, the kidneys have to deal with. Okay, so keeping the digestive health, digestive tract working functional and healthy, and then keeping the liver healthy, those will help prevent you from having kidney problems. 
Our next question is, who is more prone to kidney infections and why? Well, first off, it's the elderly are the most prone to kidney infections, okay? Uh, women are more often prone to kidney infections, but in the elderly, you have postmenopausal women are very prone to kidney infections, and then also uh, men with prostate problems are very prone to kidney infections. And so it's the other issues that are causing the problems, you know, causing the infections that get into the, the kidneys. Now, when in younger people, okay, the kidneys and kidneys will continuously get infected because the bladder is being infected. The bladder becomes infected easily when the microbiome of our gut is totally imbalanced. When we have a microbiome imbalance in our gut, we will also have a microbiome imbalance in our urinary tract. And until we fix the gut, the urinary tract cannot fix. It doesn't matter how many antibiotics you take, okay? You can't keep an infection away because you, you have the environment to grow an infection, okay? So you have to fix that microbiome. You gotta get the gut healed up, gotta get the probiotics in the gut, and then that will help you with preventing those, those urinary tract infections. So our next question is, Doc, are there herbs that promote kidney health? I said, well, of course, yes, there are. <laughs> Ginger root, rhodiola root, cordyceps mushrooms, juniper berries, uh, burdock root, marshmallow root, goldenrod, uh, parsley leaves, and even gynostemma. Uh, those are fantastic herbs. Those are my favorite kidney herbs. Um, also remember that supporting your liver is always very helpful to the kidneys. It takes stress off the kidneys. Okay, so our next question is, do the kidneys affect the adrenal glands? Well, yes, they do. Interesting enough, the adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys. And if the, the kidneys become toxic, okay, if the kidneys become toxic, they, those toxins start to migrate into the adrenal glands, disrupting the function of the adrenal glands. Our next question is, does my diet affect getting UTIs. Yes. Yes, it does. And um, the biggest factor are things that are highly alkaline, like bread and uh, things like lots of meat and those types of things. They, they will make your kidneys more prone to, uh, to grow bacteria. Okay. The, more, the urinary tract will be more prone to grow bacteria. The primary thing, though, is sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugar reduces blood flow to the kidneys, okay? They, they constrict the blood flow in the, in the kidneys and in the urinary tract when the blood sugar's high, okay? Anytime you reduce the blood flow in the urinary tract, you increase the risk of infection, all right? And sugar also is what the bad bacteria that grow in our our urinary tract causing UTIs, okay, it feeds these bad bugs. Our next question is, does fulvic acid support kidney health? And if so, how? Well, yes it does. Kidneys are, are very responsive to fulvic acid. Uh, fulvic helps by, first off, helping gut health, okay? It helps with growth of the healthy probiotics in the gut, uh, supporting a healthy microbiome. Um, also, by, uh, in, in helping the gut, it helps the liver as well. It helps with liver detox and things like that. And then fulvic also helps with removing heavy metals, which is another stressor that the kidneys have to deal with. And so if we can eliminate and minimize the amount of heavy metals that the kidneys have to deal with by using fulvic acid, uh, we take a huge amount of stress off those kidneys. And then finally, uh, fulvic helps with increasing blood flow in the kidneys as well. So it has multiple things that it does for the kidneys that are really helpful. Our last question is, what are some foods that support kidney health? Well, cranberries, blueberries, cauliflower, and one of my favorites, watermelon. Watermelon is fantastic for the kidneys. Shiitake mushrooms, uh, olive oil of all things, garlic, and one of my favorite greens, arugula. 
arugula. Those are fantastic for the kidneys. Those all support kidney health. They uh, supp supply all kinds of nutrients, minerals and vitamins and cofactors and things like that that the, uh, that the kidneys need in order to function properly. Um, some of these things actually help with increasing the filtration rate of the kidneys as well. Well, thank you for watching today. I love answering your questions. I hope you learned something here. And if you have more questions, please submit them to the email here below. I'm Dr. Newsom bringing you optimal health naturally.